We have already seen how to use SQL or structured query language to access information or data stored in a relational database management system or RDBMS. When we did that, we saw that the information was divided into a number of different tables with interconnections between the various tables. Looking at a business situation and determining the tables that are needed as well as the interconnections between these tables is the domain of relational database design. We turn our attention to this topic now. In this module you will learn how to walk into a business situation and create a logical database design for that business situation. The really exciting part is that once you have a logical database design, you can transform it into a physical database structure, literally with the click of a mouse. And then you can move on to creating very easily a fully working, professional looking web information system. Trust me, once you have mastered database design, you will feel truly empowered. Undoubtedly, this module forms the core of the course. That said, you will quite likely find this module to be very challenging. As I had indicated in the introductory video, you really should be solving every single practice problem that I assign. Not only that, you should compare your answers to the suggested answers which also I will provide. You will really need to do all of this in order to master database design, which of course, as I've already told you, is the most important part of this course. So let's get into database design.